Hi there, I'm Mike Lechen, one of the principal technologists here at Cohesity. Today we're going to talk about a silo that is within IT data and has been there for so long, backup archive. Now, a lot of people treat them as a single thing, but they really are two completely different entities. You're backing up your data and you archive memories. Now let's dig into that a little bit conceptually so you can see really what we're talking about. When you look at your data, there's a couple things you look at. There are files, there's emails, and even things like databases that we would consider to be data. But your memories are things that you deal with for years and years and years. Whether that is a picture, maybe a movie, or to a lot of people, it also means music. I know that always brings back memories for me. You look at the two different setup, they don't seem like they're that different. But how often do they change? That's one way to look at it. These have a very high change rate. But my pictures, my movies, those are pretty much static. They're not gonna change very often. From there, what realistically are they Short term, this side is. We don't look at emails forever. We really only need it while we're working on it. But these, these stay long term. And that's gonna be things like, maybe it's the picture from company anniversaries, things like that when you look at it from a corporate standpoint. Looking at it from your iPhone and when you're using your regular camera at home, they are memories. But when it comes to your company, you have those memories but this is where it's important. And this is where you need to have some sort of insurance to help with your data. That's what matters for your company. The key to this though, is these just need to be recoverable. You need to be able to recover any of this data, whether it's a database that's running your business, whether it's that email from a couple days ago that was a sales lead, you need to be able to recover it. Your memories though, aren't as important for recovery in the sense of a disaster, but you do want to be able to access them when you need it. So you've got long-term memories that you want to be able to access that aren't changing, but then there's short-term backup data that you want to be able to have recoverable when you need to. So now, how do I look at that though? How do I have done that when I dig deeper into this? Technically, what have I done with them? I've taken this data and I use some sort of backup application. Now, there's been ones that have been on the market forever they go from a piece of software over to some sort of backup target, some sort of disk. From there though, you take another step and we put it down onto tape because we need to keep it for a little bit longer. Maybe you've got that backup target so you can just get it back on that short term retention. A couple days, you get something back, no problem. But a month back, you're not keeping that on your backup target, it's gonna go to tape. But then those tapes tend to add up and you end up with multiple, multiple tapes. But you don't keep those on site. You then take those tapes, you put them onto a truck and you ship them. And what you do is you ship your backup data over to some sort of archive facility. This facility is normally someplace that you don't have to, it's far enough away, you don't have to worry about maybe sitting under a mountain someplace that is now an archive facility. So you're just trying to get that access back. So your short-term data has now become archival and you've had to take a lot of process to get there. Not only that, but the access isn't that simple when it's sitting over here in a facility. So what can Cohesity do to help with this? With Cohesity, we have our data platform. Now, Data Platform has an app in it called Data Protect. What Data Protect can do is both back up your data directly to a scale out system that can grow as your company grows. Now, this becomes your backup target, becomes your backup app. You get rid of a lot of this complexity. The great thing is this can also help become your archival solution. So you can take those memories and access them even quicker locally, or you can put them off to another site, to another facility, or off into the cloud. 
gives you a lot of different options on what to do with your data and your memories, both. But now that your backup data has been a memory, I need to be able to access it. And accessing your data is not very easy in traditional platforms. One of the things Cohesity provides is a global search solution. Now you want to find that one email, you want to find that one video, whether it's on your backup solute side or your archival side, we get rid of the silo. It's on the Cohesity data platform now. And as you grow, you scale that out, you go from that backup all the way to here and say, you know what, it's time, let's move it to archive. And we will do that programmatically for you. You can go from having that single solution to having a policy that's automated, taking your files short-term and then making them long-term archive and still giving you the ability to access them. So take a look at the Cohesity data platform and data protect that will allow you to grow your environment and both back up your data and archive your memories and get rid of that silo. We do it all in one place and truly redefine the way that you handle your data management. Thanks.